Welcome back to Daytime Tri-Cities. Of course, once again, we're live here on the stage at the Food City Fan Zone. We've got our good friend, Executive Chef Tony Mamarella, who always goes above and beyond stepping outside the box. Great to have you joining us today. Great to be back. Glad to be down here at the racetrack again. You, are you ready? I am. You said last night was just super cool. It, so much fun. It was fun down here last night. They had a big old foam party right here off the stage. It was kind of crazy. It was kind of crazy. And I tell you what, when you're talking about food, these race fans, man, they love to grill and they love to step outside the box. And I know that's what you're all about. You always make us get, you know, pretty excited about the food. We, we do. And we're going to talk about dinner and then a snack. Okay. Everybody so likes dinner. dinner. And a snack. We got dinner before the race, but then you back to your camper and you're really hungry afterwards. So we're actually going to do some grilled blackened fillets with roasted potatoes and asparagus, but we're also going to do smash burgers. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. So smash burgers to start out, we actually started to grill our onions. Okay. And with a smash burger, you literally want to grill your onions. Once the onions are grilled, you want to take your burger and you want to smash them directly into your onions because that'll help put all that onion flavor right back in that onion. It'll help cook it consistently, okay. give it really, really uniform flavor. Um, and it helps keep the onions and everything kind of working. So we'll get them smashed down in there. And Tony, you're using, of course, this Blackstone, which you've been using over the last couple of years. You say race fans out there really love it. It's so versatile. It's so simple. If you can cook in a saute pan in your kitchen, you can cook on a Blackstone. They're really, really uniform. They're really easy to work with. We have some asparagus. Um, our produce department does what we call a shortcut program. So everything comes ready to go. It's just grilling. You're just putting it on the flat top, a little bit of oil and salt and pepper. Same thing with your potatoes. Cut them ahead of time, season them. They go right on the flat top as well. And it really just makes everything easy when you can have products like that ready to go. Our burger toppers, everything you need in the right. pack. Lettuce, tomato, onions, you're not buying a whole lot of things. You can get what you need for four or five people. It makes it a whole lot easier to work on what you're doing. Yeah, then you can spend more time with your fans and enjoying the experience. Let Food City do all the cleaning and the dicing and the cutting. Absolutely. And it's ready to go. Minimizes the waste and helps make everything a little bit easier. And you're talking about smash burgers. And yep. I know Food City, man, the meat department over there, they are ready for race weekend. You guys always have top quality. It was fantastic. We're having CAB today, and our burgers actually were prepared added for us. We didn't have to do any work. Open the package, season them, throw them right on the grill. It's really quick and simple. And of course, lots of different options. You've got the gourmet burgers as well. We do. So we have flavor burgers. There's a feta and, and blue cheese. Uh, there's black and blue burgers. There's a bacon cheddar burger. Lots of stuff we can work with. So see, if you don't want to do any of the work, they can do that for you as well. They can do all of it. Okay, so, so we've got our, our meat going over here along with the vegetables. Everything has its own kind of compartment. Yep, we just kind of keep it all separate. Um, with your steaks and with your burgers, you really want to make sure that you time your steaks accordingly to what you're doing. So if you want your steaks well done, they should go on first. If you want your steaks a little bit less done, put them on as you start to cook your other items so that everything kind of gets done at the same time. With our steaks, we use some blackening seasoning. We just season them liberally around the outside, okay. and we're just going to find the hottest spot on the grill, a little bit of oil. The less oil, better when you're doing blackening, and we're just going to put them on the grill and let them crisp. And they're going to get that nice sear that they're known for and trap those juices inside. We're hoping. Oh, I like that. So we'll load these on here. And the biggest thing when you're cooking steak is you have to trust the process and don't touch it. Just put it on the grill and let it go. The more you play with it, the more you move it, the more you... The worst is going to be. So if See, you that's just, harder for someone like me. I always just want to keep checking or turning or... Just set it and forget it. Let, let it, go it go for a few minutes. Okay. Wonderful. And when we're talking about the fillets, tell me a little bit about the fillets in the meat department that you've got at your local food city. So we have our pre-cut fillets. They hand cut them all. Everything's hand trimmed, hand ready. Um, everything we do in most of our meat departments is CAB, so certified Angus beef. Yeah. So top quality for everything that we have. Fillets are the most tender piece of meat that you can get, most tender cut of meat. Lots of people like ribeyes because they have a lot of fat and marbling in them. But when it comes to, to, to cooking lighter, cooking healthier, or searing and trying to get that really, really spicy flavor, fillets are fantastic for it because it keeps a soft, tender cut of meat. And something like this doesn't take a whole lot of time when you're out there in, in the campground. It really doesn't. For me, that steak's almost done. I like mine a little uh, a little on the rare side. Uh -huh. But if you're going to go a little longer with it, you can give it you know three, four, five, six minutes on each side, depending on what you're looking for. They'll even hand cut fillets for you if you really want thick or smaller or if you're looking for something specific. You can get you a big old 10 or 12 ounce fillet if you want it, all the way down to you know three or four ounces if you're, if you're looking for it. So it keeps it pretty simple and pretty consistent. They really go above and beyond to try and make everything we do customer friendly and, and race fan friendly. We oh, should have our that. burgers smashed and our onions smashed right into our burgers. So the onions right in there with it, ready to go. Yep, and they're seared and they're charred. 
Um, There's nothing better than caramelized onions on a burger. I, w I would agree with you. And of course, smash burgers are kind of all the rage right now. Everybody's kind of talking about. They are. They're so good. If you notice, these are pretty large burgers. I'm a firm believer that your burger has to be bigger than the bun. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, there's nothing worse than getting a bun that's the size of my face and a burger that's tiny. So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna make sure that burger hangs over that bun today. We're not gonna be pulling apart any extra bread. Absolutely not. Got that burger right in there. And of course, I know you guys look forward to the race every year, being with the fans. Of course, food a big part of it. You guys are gonna be extremely busy around the track. We do. We feed a lot of people down here with our hospitality villages and things like that. It's just a great opportunity to get out in the communities and see a bunch of different things cook and have fun like we love to do. And of course, all the stores getting in on the action as well. All of them laid out, ready to go for race fans. And then I know there's a lot of drivers going to different stores today. There's people all throughout the community. The energy and the atmosphere at all the stores, not to mention, of course, here at Bristol Motor Speedway, it is contagious. It's just so much fun. Well, I hope it stays that way. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to check in. We've got dinner and a snack going on here with our friends from Food City. Stay with us. More of Daytime Tri-Cities live from Bristol Motor Speedway right after this.